This morning, we're going to uh, set up a demo that's going to go uh, while through the day, and we're going to de-rust this vise. It's a vise for a drill. You can see it's uh, been used pretty hard. It's got a bunch of drill holes in it, and it's rusted up enough that it really does not want to operate. It should be able to slide easily, and it uh, pretty much won't slide at all. Um, it's got a lever on it, works pretty rough right now, and it just does not want to slide. So we're going to uh, de-rust it and see if that doesn't free it. And we'll just fill this up. The evaporust is kind of foamy, so with any kind of a foamy liquid, if you uh, put your, your pour spigot below the surface and let it fill that way, you won't push so much air into the liquid and you won't get as much foam. Okay, we, uh, we found that our vise, the throughways here that ride on these rods, had a, a real heavy grease plug that was stopping the evapor rust from getting into these throughways and taking the rust out. So we used a hammer to uh, move the vise down the way and uh, clean some of that grease out of, the, out of there so that the evaporust could actually reach the areas that needed to uh, be reached so it could get rid of the rust. Yesterday, when we uh, actually tried to move this with a hammer, it wasn't even possible. It was uh, too tightly sealed. And now you can see it easily moves like it was supposed to. The other thing to notice is uh, when we first started, this lever that's the hold down, or the uh, vice holding lever, um, could barely be moved. It could be moved maybe about that much with quite a bit of effort. And uh, we then, after it soaked for a while, could get it about here before it had a huge amount of effort to move it any further. And now it acts normally and it goes all the way down pretty easily. So what's happened here is that we have used evapor rust to remove the rust and restore the usefulness.